Good morning everyone. This is Jeanette with Mountain Misters and I am going to be showing a card that I made with the Swan Lake stamp set which is the stamp set and I used these three images right here and the dragonfly so four and then the sentiment is wherever you go today. This is the first version of the card that I did. It um, was done on very vanilla and on mounted on Knight of Navy cardstock and I really liked it but it came out so dark that I ended up having to cut stamp the swan and then hand cut it so I could get uh, it on there to show white because it was not it didn't look good well on the very vanilla so I redid the card and this is the one that I redid and this one I will show you how to do a masking technique and the sponging technique on this card this one is done on whisper white and garden green and so let's get started of course you're going to need your garden green cardstock I mounted the stamped image on black and I'm hoping this is going to be big enough and if not we will trim it down the white down just a little bit and then a piece of very vanilla you're going to want a piece of background paper so we can do some stamping off not stamping off spongy uh, so you don't get your work surface dirty and for this card I use stays on ink but um, memento black ink would work beautifully and that is the link that I'm going to put for the ink the stamp um, pad in the link for supplies is the memento black ink so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the swan and this is mounted on an acrylic D block and we're just going to stamp that one down right here perfect and then you want to take some um, post-it notes and you're going to want to stamp the swan with its head and part of its wings on the sticky part on top and then you want to fussy cut around this until you get this little swan right here and we are going to set that on here this is called masking and we're going to set that on our swan so when we do our sponging our little swan will be free of ink okay then I'm going to ink up the stamp again and I want to put this one behind it and with masking what it does it'll stamp the full image on here but when you remove the mask you're only going to get the part to where it looks like it is behind the other swan and there's the second one I won't lift this up just yet just maybe a corner but you'll see that's what it looks like underneath the two swans so I'm put that back down then the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to put this on this block so I can um, not lose my stamps so then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to stamp our little ducks or our little swans I should say and you're going to kind of just stamp them wherever you want them and I'm going to put them right about here okay and then I went ahead and I made a mask of the little ducks little swans I don't know why I keep calling them little ducks I got ducks on the brain today I don't know why so and then this mask was made with some masking magic that I bought at um, Hobby Lobby years and years ago but we're kind of stuck here let me see what's going on here might just be easier to go ahead and I think it'll just be easier to make another mask so that's what I'm going to do just very quickly it won't take very long we'll go ahead and we'll make another mask and again you're going to stamp with their little I can still see that pretty good so I'm not going to worry about that 
and we're just going to trim it out. Try that again because I decided I couldn't see it well enough to, to cut it out. So we'll just do it again. As you can see, sometimes I have my fair share of problems getting things done. I am by no means a perfect stamper and I'm more than happy to show you what my mistakes and how I correct them because Sometimes I feel that's the only way you learn as opposed to having a perfect video posted for you. And so you'll see my mistakes. I've been missing from Facebook for a couple of weeks now and the reason that I have been missing is I've been trying to house train baby chihuahuas um, and get them adopted out which I have finally managed to do with three of them and I have two left my son decided to keep um, the littlest baby girl and I decided to keep the baby girl that was white in color and I'll post pictures of our little critters at the end of the video so if you want to see them you can see what they look like at the end of this video so they have managed to keep me very very busy And with summer out, the grandkids keep me busy taking them to dance practice and things like that. But they will be going back to school before you know it. So all of that will come to an end. Okay, there's my mask. And when you cut these masks out, save them because you can use them several times. Okay, there's our little baby swans and then I'm going to take the stamp that has the water lilies on it and we'll stamp these in a couple of spots and we will stamp over and press hard because you're trying to go over that layer of um, the post-it note so there's that and it's gonna look funky and that's okay okay and that one's just kind of faded in the background and I'm okay with that okay I have another mask in here of the swan and I made this mask with the masking magic that I told you about that I got at Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to set that one over the top of here, just like that. So we're done with the stamping, except for our little dragonflies and things like that. But we'll go ahead and we'll start inking in our background. I also made a mask of the lily pads. And I'm going to apply that mask right here right now. And then I also have these little guys right here. And then I also have, or I did have, which I'm not finding right now. I probably thought it was trash and grabbed it and threw it away, but we can manage with that. So then I'm going to take Soft Sky. And I'm going to take a sponge. And we're going to start lightly sponging in this background. And you can use any colors that you want. I happen to like Soft Sky a lot and so that's usually one of my go-to inks when I sponge in. And then up here I want it a lot lighter so we'll I happened to ink up my re-ink my ink pad a couple of days ago so the ink's a little brighter and darker than what it normally is. So I'm just taking a little extra care to make sure that that is 
not transferring too dark. And I'm just going to kind of rub this way on here so I don't destroy my masks. And we're going to come over here and I'm going to kind of hold this down too and get in around these um, cattails. And if some of the brown transfers onto the some of the ink transfers onto the cattails, I'm okay. And we'll get that in here after we color that in a little bit better. And I'll show you how we're going to fix the marks that are left here. Okay. You can move your mask a little in more and then just kind of go over that area. That, okay. And then I just to give some little darker areas. I'm gonna take Marina Mist, which I also love too. I don't know; these are my favorite go-to um, sponging ones. And I'm just gonna do this on top here, just to give it a little deeper, darker. And I want the water down here a little bit darker. Okay, so I'm good with that, and I'll show you again, like I said, how we'll fix that at the bottom. So now I'm going to remove all the masks. My scissors to do that. Here's my masks, and I'm going to put my masks away before I lose them. I just store them in my stamp case. And there's our swans. Now I'm going to come in with some watercolor pencils and if you haven't tried my water watercolor pencils they're they're fabulous i love them and we are going to color in the cattails all the cattails i'm going to put them kind of dark because when i do the blender pen it's going to make it lighter Let me see if I get you in a little bit here. Okay. And these areas down here that didn't transfer in that well, I'll show you how we're going to fix that. And then I'm going to take my old olive. And I'm going to make these leaves, old olive color. And let me get my markers. And we're going to darken in those areas that didn't show up very well. I'm going to use my black marker. And I'm going to use this little writing tip. And I'm just going to come and darken in these lines just like that. Before I had the markers, I would have scrapped this card and started over, but the markers were a birthday present for my sister, and I love them. Love them, love them. They've made me fix so many mistakes. So thanks, sis, for the water, the markers. Greatly appreciated. There's that. And then we're going to come in with our blender pen. Just make sure it's clean. And we'll color in that. Let's add some more right here. And then we're going to color in our little babies. We're going to color them yellow. That's probably the color for baby ducks, but that's what we're going to use. Get his 
these little eyeballs here. And then I'm going to, I think I might add a little bit of shading with the brown after we get them blended in. And we're going to use pumpkin pie for their little beaks. And I'll also use that on mom and dad. Or dad and mom, whichever the case may be. And then um, we'll bring in the blender pen again. Make sure it's cleaned off. And we'll color in the babies. Okay. And get their beaks. Okay. And then I'm going to come in with lemon lime zest which is one of our new in colors for 2017 2019 and I'm just going to go off the tip of the ink pad and I'm going to color in this right here just like that and then I'll just kind of give a little color right here too on top of the old olive. Now I'm going to clean off my pen one more time and I'm going to pick up this brown pencil and I'm going to go straight off the brown and I'm just going to add some little brown highlights here just to give a little bit of shading on their little wings. Not too much, just a little. Okay. So then we'll put that away. And let's look at the card real quick again. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to come back in with that, probably the Marina Mist sponge. And I'm just going to get the white out of here now. Just kind of dab it again. And sponge off and just come over here and get that white out of where it was on the lily pads and around the little ducks. Just kind of like that and I'm okay with it going over them a little bit. That looks a little bit better and I think I'm still gonna darken this up right here a little bit. Okay, so there's that. Next we're gonna take our wherever you go stamp and I thought I had that out, but I guess I don't. But we'll get wherever you go. Is this it? Yes. Okay, and we'll put that down here. Put that right there. And I'm going to take and I'm going to stamp that in the stays on. wherever you go today and then we're going to stamp um, the little dragonflies and we're also going to stamp them in black the momento black and you can put as many as of the dragonflies as you want on here and you can put them wherever you want I am going to put in probably three because the more I tend to put, sometimes I mess up. And I was always taught to do things in odd numbers, so I'm just gonna put three of them in there. And then you can take your markers or your colored pencils or whatever you wanna do and color in the wings of the dragonfly. I'm actually gonna use markers and I am going to use, let me see. Uh-oh, I have a missing one. I'm going to use some blues. We'll use Pacific Point.
ear. And for the other end, I'm going to use Island Indigo, the brush tip one of it this time. Just kind of bring that right there. There's those two. And then I'm going to use pinks, a couple of the pinks. And this is Melon Mambo. Rose red, and I'll do the bottom of this one here. Those look kind of kind of similar after they're finally on there. And then I'm going to do. Let's do a yellow and an orange. And this is pumpkin pie. Say Daffodil Delight. Okay. Now you can um, leave your swans white or you can color them in with a white um, colored pencil, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave them white. One thing I am going to do is I am going to come back in with the black marker and I'm going to just touch up the baby's eyes real quick. And maybe mom and dad's. Okay. So this card is almost done. And sorry about that. Next thing that we will do is add it to our card base. And we will add a piece of white to the inside so um, people can write on it. And as you can see, I had originally started this and I had some boo-boos. So I'm going to use this to adhere to the inside of my card. I'm going to stamp my sentiment, the rest of the sentiment on there. So I can get this done without too many problems. And I'm going to stamp. May happiness follow on the inside to finish the inside of the card. And just make sure it's the right way. And again, with the stays on. And just kind of right there. May happiness follow. And then I noticed I have a little a couple of little areas where my fingers had a little bit of black ink on them. So I'm just going to cover that up with a dragonfly. Oh, guess what's coming back into play again, like I told you. Sometimes things aren't, don't turn out the way you want, so we'll just touch this up. We'll just touch this up. Okay. And I'm going to use the blues on this one. And the piece of the point again, because they're since they're already out, I'll just use them. Okay. And then down in this corner, I'm going to take the other little lily pad that we didn't use. And I'm going to add that. Just kind of down here in the bottom. Just down here in the bottom. Just like that. Okay. And then I'll just take the markers that I already have out and I'll color them in. This is a Daffodil Delight again. And this one here. And then down here. And 
And then I'm just going to take these little dots and make them come out more. And then I will take a green marker and I'll probably just use Old Olive again. Always, actually this is always artichoke. And I'll just stick that down here. Oh, it's kind of dark, but that's okay. go over that right there with the black to fill it in. I'm going to leave it like that. This card will probably just stay as a, a sample card. So we'll ink this up. Well, I'm going to bring in my garden green card stock and I've already scored it at four and a quarter. So this measure is four and a quarter by five and a half. Uh, okay, and just burnish it down a little bit, and then we're going to attach this to the inside. Just like that, and then we'll come over here and we will add our, let me, I'm going to make you go crazy here for a minute, hold on. And then we're going to come in and we're going to add our um, card front. And to this, to this one, I'm going to use adhesive, liquid adhesive. I'll try a different bottle. These tend to get clogged. Sometimes I will keep a straight pin here. I'll use the tip of my fine tip glue pen. And we're just going to add some right here. Okay. this right to the top of the card. Oops, no we're not, no we're not. We're going to add it to here. We're going to add it to the black, sorry. Because I said we were going to trim this out in black. Just like that. Okay, there we go. Make it pop off of that green. Uh, let me move all these markers out of the way. Over here. And then to trim this out, I'm going to use, um, I've had these forever too. And if you've never used them, they're wonderful. I don't know if, the, um, I think they still sell them. But these are called Perfect Layers. And even if you cut your thing crooked, you can mat it straight by using the Perfect Layers. And it's got a little, I'll show you here in just one second. Okay. On here again. It's got a little lip. I think I need to change that point on my exacto knife here. Okay. It's got little ridges on this ruler, like right here, and then as you turn it over, right here, right here, and right here. And it corresponds to the numbers that are on the front of the, the ruler. So I want 1 16th, so I know it's this first mark right here that I'm just going to line that up. Like I said, I know I need a new blade on here, so I'm sorry about this. Okay, I think we got it now. And then I'll just trim it real quick and easy. The straggling edges that... There. Okay, now we'll come and we'll get it on this side. A 
and then it'll just tear right off. And that's two sides. Bring it over to this side. Line it up, and the edge of your whatever you're going to mat with this, the edge of that cardstock will stop it. And then I think we're pretty close right here. We're going to leave that there. So now we'll come back in and we'll put more adhesive on here. Okay. And we'll add this to the front. I just like the way the black made the card pop a little better. And then just give a rub until you can you're sure that the tombow has set. And then you can go back in and just clean up your little rough edges of your card. Okay. So now what we'll do is we will add some rhinestones. Stampin' Up has revised these um, rhinestones, but I still have a ton of the old ones because I use them a lot, and those are the ones that I'm going to put on here today. But on the new set, I'm thinking that by what I've seen, the ones that came on the ribbon or attached together are no longer like that. And I'm just going to add the rhinestones right there okay and there's the card for today thank you for joining me I hope you like this card and that you will hit subscribe and like straighten up again like with the video and again this was um, stamp set Swan Lake Thank you very much, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.